how to lose weight the French way. I often talk about the French way of eating and the French lifestyle on this channel. So today I thought that I would talk about how to lose weight from a French perspective. So you have to start out with this one or else the rest are not gonna make sense. But the best French advice for weight loss is to not gain weight in the first place because that's what French people focus on. They don't focus on drastic weight loss methods, but from the moment that they are very young, they are taught healthy eating habits that lead them to not gain weight. And if you're like, well, it's too late for me, I already have weight to lose, the way that you can kind of use this mindset to your advantage is not to focus so much on the weight loss. Because think about it, if you are a person who's already thin, so let's say like you're a French person who's always been thin, you're not going to be focused on weight loss. So you need to apply the habits that a thin person would have on their day-to-day -day life. You need to have these habits in order to lose the weight, but it needs to be more about building healthy habits and then it will probably result in weight loss rather than being like having weight loss be the focus point of it and then not really creating the healthy habits around that because there are a bunch of unhealthy ways for weight loss and we don't want to do that so think about how a person who is at your ideal weight would eat and what their general eating style and eating habits would be what their relationship with food would be and how their lifestyle would be and that's what you want to focus on achieving and so in this video video I'm gonna talk about how French people who are appear to be at least like naturally thin what their way of eating looks like so what does a French person who's not focusing on weight loss do well they eat but of course they don't just eat whatever they focus on getting in three healthy and balanced and filling meals a day. Their meals are really focused around whole ingredients like whole grains and fruit and veggies and beans and legumes and different types of protein and healthy fats. And they rarely include processed foods or like ready-made meals or things like that, like packaged items. And these things are more like the exception, but the norm is really focusing on these whole ingredients. So those three meals a day that they have are often home-cooked meals that they eat with their families or friends and they have a long time, like a long stretch of time to just sit at the table. It's not like on the couch, not watching TV, whatever, just sitting at the table, discussing their days, discussing whatever they want to talk about with family or friends and eating their meals. Doing this really enables them to focus on their food, but also not have it be like obsessive because sometimes if you just eat alone and you're trying to eat way too mindfully and focus on every aspect of your food, it can become a little bit like obsessive and not very fun or comfortable. So if you're able to eat your meal as a family and have like discussions all while eating your food and still focusing on that food, like when somebody else is talking, you can focus on your food and then you can talk and you also have like this social aspect that is fun and so it's not just about eating they are just prioritizing that because a lot of people tell me well i just don't have time to have long meals. i don't have time well french people don't have more time than you it's just a different way to prioritize their day because eating meals is just so important to them and also within these three balanced meals that they have and like sometimes a snack um they rarely order takeout takeout is something that is a treat for like special occasions they go to restaurants um but they just rarely order takeout that's not really a, the french way of doing things so again it's much easier to control what you're eating and to make sure that you're having healthy balanced meals that actually satisfy you when you are the one cooking them and not when you're ordering from like a random place you don't really know what you're gonna be getting quick interruption to tell you about my new eat like the french course which is all about healthy eating and healthy weight loss the french way so i'm going to be giving you tips that french people have been using forever and this is why they are able to stay thin and stay healthy all while indulging in 
a bunch of different foods. So I'm gonna be giving you all the tips, all the secrets, and if you want to know more about this course, you can check out the link in the description. It's the webinar on mastering the French paradox. And even if you're not interested in the course, definitely still check out this webinar because it's entirely free and you're going to learn a ton about the French paradox and how you can use it to your advantage. Another way that French people will tend to lose weight easily is that they prioritize quality over quantity. They would rather have foods that are with like high quality ingredients and things that they really enjoy in like smaller amounts than have a ton of food but with low quality ingredients. If you're eating high quality ingredients, that is going to be way more satisfying to you and it's going to be way more nourishing as well and you're going to be able to eat fewer of these ingredients and have a greater satiety index and so probably eat fewer calories and so lose weight. So French people are known to eat a lot of pastries. Well, that's not entirely true. They do like to treat themselves to pastries, but they would rather go get one like freshly baked croissant or one fresh, freshly baked millefeuille from their favorite boulangerie and they will have this and they will really enjoy it and it's going to be something that is high quality, that is indulgent with a bunch of ingredients that will really satisfy them and then they're going to really enjoy that. Whereas if you take a typical American person, they are more likely to go to Target and get a box of like a plastic box of like 20 sugar cookies and one or two sugar cookies is not going to satisfy them the same way that this like freshly baked pastry would. So obviously they're going to eat like way more of these sugar cookies and then if you look at the calorie count at like the end of the day, it's going to be in favor, like the pastries are going to have like a lower calorie count. French people also have smaller portion sizes and again this kind of goes with the like quality ingredients because when you have quality ingredients, you can be satisfied with portion sizes that are smaller. But if you're eating low quality ingredients, you tend to need more to feel more satiated with what you're eating. And having a greater variety of different types of foods, different types of like courses within their meal is what also helps French people reduce portion sizes. So let's take like two different examples. On one hand, you have like this rice salad with like rice and tuna and like green beans. That's like your, the only meal that you have. And then on another side, you have a little like tomato and mozzarella starter. And then you have some rice with some broccoli and like some salmon. And then you have some type of fruit. If you take equal amounts of calories, so let's say you're getting as many calories as the rice as like all the different calories that you would be getting in these in these like different meals you're going to be more satisfied with the different meals here because you're going to feel like you're eating more because there's like a bigger variety and every time you're going to eat something different it's going to be a different type of satisfaction and so ultimately that's if you have like the same amount of calories but ultimately what in the real world it's going to lead to is you're going to be eating higher amounts of calories when you're eating like one type of meal and that's it and i really see this in myself when i make like a pasta dish and that's it i'm going to eat way more of it than if i have like pasta as a side and then i have like other things like veggies and tofu with it and then like a little soup as a starter and then some dessert because you're gonna need to eat more of that same meal to feel as satisfied as if you have like variety. So hopefully this makes sense, but if you include greater variety, then this can help reduce portion sizes without feeling restricted because you're still eating a bunch of different things. And it kind of all goes together because also when you're getting like high quality ingredients, it's easier to have smaller portion sizes and then you can have like greater variety with more high quality ingredients and smaller portion sizes and be like still very, very satisfied with your meal. And so it all like comes under this big goal of preferring quality over quantity. Another important way in uh, which French people easily lose weight is that they see healthy eating as an opportunity and not a chore. So there's this huge thing in a lot of countries like in the United States where clean eating, they call it, it's like dieting, all of that, like diet culture, all of it is a chore and it's not fun and it's something that you have to do for like 
a small period of time like a sacrifice and then you hopefully get to a period where you are able to eat healthier and french people don't see it that way at all they don't like going on diets they don't like do like low calorie restrictive ways of eating where they obsess over like all the macros that they're eating they don't do that they don't go on like fat diets they don't cut out gluten or dairy or whatever but they see all of this as the pleasure of doing something positive for their body they know that if they eat healthy balanced meals they are going to feel better and they are going to be healthier and it's something good that they are doing for themselves and they know that extreme calorie counting and cutting out macros all of that that's not good for their body so like why would they do that again it's because they're not obsessed with the weight loss they're more so focused on the health aspect they see food as a way among other ways to take care of themselves and again this is why lots of french parents take great pleasure in cooking meals for their kids even if it takes a long time to cook the meals and then to eat the meals as a family they don't see that as a chore. They see that as an opportunity to share a moment with their kids and their families, make sure that they are prioritizing their health. And it's the same like for them, even if they don't have kids. It's just a different way to see eating. It's like, this is something positive that I can do for my body and also for my mental health. And it's also a, a nice, fun moment to eat and to enjoy this meal with like other people. That's the way they see it. It's not like the way a lot of American people see it. Like this is this horrible chore that I have to do. I hate clean eating. My life sucks. I want to eat pizza. But obviously a reason why French people can do that is because their meals are not just like salads. Again, they're having balanced healthy meals, yes, but that are very filling. They're treating themselves. They're having healthy fats and they're having meat if they want to and they're having fish and they're having a bunch of carbs and they're having pastries. It's just that they're doing all of that in moderation. And if you want to learn more about moderation and how you can apply moderation to your way of eating, you can check out the video I made about that right here or in the description. And finally, French people in general have a more holistic approach to eating and health. French people aren't just going to focus on eating and food and like weight loss. For instance, they're not gonna like just focus on calories. There is a like coherence to the way that they eat. This is why French people won't have like a diet where they eat like salad Monday through Friday and then they have hamburgers, pizza, and ice cream the entire weekend because that doesn't make sense if you look at like the bigger picture of like health. I see all of this on a greater scale and this is why I think that holistic nutrition is so important because you can't just be like, okay, I have to eat like this macronutrient, this macronutrient, this amount of calories, and that's it. There's so many other factors and French people really understand that. So they're way more likely to drink plenty of water. They're more likely to focus on their sleep and have like an active social life that really like helps recharge them and like helps lower their stress levels. And they're also going to walk more and just be more active in general they also enjoy taking care of themselves and like i said earlier eating for them is a form of self-care is a way to take care of themselves and they also like to take care of themselves in other ways you can't just focus on the the food aspect you can't just focus on this, like this one tiny thing it all has to kind of come together on a greater scale and ultimately this is why it's so important that you don't focus on just the weight loss because French people don't do that. It's about way more than that for them and it's about doing all of these things that benefit their body. And again, if you focus just on the weight loss, then you are going to probably do a lot of things that aren't necessarily healthy and that are just gonna lead back to you gaining all the way back and more and then getting in this, this like yo-yo dieting cycle. So if you stop doing this this way and you start to view it more as like this whole a holistic approach where you take into account all of the different aspects of health, then that's the French way to do things and that's going to be a much better for you generally. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye!